You've probably heard about Zebra's award-winning scanning hardware. Now let me tell you about our industry-leading SDKs. These SDKs share a common design philosophy. One thing being that whatever app you develop will allow you to leverage 100% of the scanner's capabilities. And once you develop an app, it'll work on all Zebra scanners. Additional benefits include, we provide sample source code to speed up your development. We have both OPAS and JPAS drivers included. We have logging capabilities to help you troubleshoot issues and to enable remote deployment of the applications, we support unattended silent remote installation. And when I say you can leverage 100% of your scanner's capability, I mean you have complete control of your scanner. From outputting data over the kind of comm interface you're looking for, whether it's an OPAS connection, IBM tabletop, IBM handheld, or Zebra's fastest protocol, IBM Snappy, which is great for image capture also. You have command and control over your scanner. You can control the LEDs and beeper, the pager motor, trigger control, aim control, image capture, document capture, video capture. And if you're looking at an MP7000, not only do you get the barcode data out of it, you have scale control also for read weight and live weight. And should you want to get into some of the more advanced remote management capabilities, you can pull asset tracking information, statistics and diagnostics information, you can set device configuration and upgrade firmware all through your own application. The engine that powers our SDKs is the core scanner. In Windows, it's a service. In Linux, it's a daemon. And if you look at diagram one, the core scanner manages communication between an application and the scanner. If you look at diagram two, now you get to see the real power of the core scanner and the, the SDKs I'm talking about. The core scanner allows multiple applications to speak to the scanner simultaneously without having to change a communication protocol. I'll explain that a little bit more in the next slide. This block diagram represents the most common SDK implementation. So you see the customer in gray at the top. They have three applications talking to the core scanner simultaneously. So application one is doing image capture. And what's interesting is application one is actually making core scanner API calls straight to the core scanner. And the core scanner is talking to our actual scanner, the DS8178, over our fastest protocol, Snappy. Application two is Microsoft's SCCM, which represents 95% of the market when it comes to management consoles in the Windows space. They are talking to our WMI agent that we provide in the SDK which talks to the core scanner and allows you to upgrade firmware, set parameter settings on the scanner, query acid information, and in this case, check battery statistics, the state of health of the battery, the number of charge cycles consumed. And then application three is a point of sale application. And what's interesting here is it's not OPAS based, it's not JPAS based. It wants old fashioned hid keyboard. Now, you notice how the core scanner is talking to our scanner in a communication interface of Snappy. Well, the core scanner can translate the Snappy communication into simulated hid keyboard and feed the point of sale application data that way. And the biggest benefit, let me repeat that again because it's really key. The biggest benefit you'll see here is application one, two, and three are talking to the scanner simultaneously without a release of scanner being required to switch between applications. So in the old school way of doing it, app one would be talking to the scanner. It would have to release the scanner if application two now wanted to talk to the scanner. And if application two now wanted to give control to application three, in the old school way of doing it, you had to release the scanner. Our core scanner gets rid of that dilemma. All three applications are talking to the scanner at the same time through the core scanner. In this second example, you have three applications talking to our scanner, scanners actually, through the core scanner, just like in the last application. But what's different here is I have two scanners talking to the POS application. So I have my MP7000 Bioptic, including the scale, talking to the core scanner, relaying information through OPAS to my point of sale application. But I also have an auxiliary scanner, a cordless DS8178, 
talking to the MP7000, which then talks to the core scanner. So I've got both scanners being supported simultaneously by the core scanner. And the core scanner is managing communication all the way down to the auxiliary scanner here. I have remote management going on through Microsoft's SCCM on the customer side. And it's using as an agent our scanner management service to do remote management, firmware update, device configuration, asset query. And then I have application one using Splunk, which analyzes data, talking to our logging agent to retrieve statistics on a scheduled basis. So maybe you want statistics every two minutes, every 10 minutes, or maybe you want to make it so that when you query statistics, you want all the registers in your entire store or your entire chain all with one button click. At this point in time, you've probably come to the realization our Windows and Linux SDKs are both very powerful and have a very similar architecture and layout. But that doesn't speak to ease of use. We make adoption of our SDKs a primary focus. Both SDKs, the Windows SDK and the Linux SDK, can be downloaded from our website. We give you sample apps that support all the scanner functionality and allow you to test it so that if you're writing an app and you want to make sure it's behaving the way it ought to, you can double check it in the, the sample apps. We give you free source code for those sample apps and code snippets on a GitHub repository. We give you online documentation, which is Google searchable. There's how-to videos like the one you're watching here and more deep dive how-to videos showing you development and programming options. And if you'd like one site that you can go to to show you all the software tools available for our scanners, well, we got a website for that. It's www.zebra.com forward slash scanner software. And when it comes to development tools, we give you a number of options. If we're talking about Windows, our development environment is Visual Studio. Our sample apps are available in C++, .NET, and PowerShell. Our WMI agent supports VB scripts and PowerShell. Our OPOS driver is in C++. Our JPOS driver is in, you guessed it, Java. And our source code is available on GitHub. And our Linux SDK development environments include NetBeans or any editor and Makefiles. The Scanner SDK sample app is available in C++. Our JPOS driver is in Java. And the source code is also available on GitHub. Our SDK support a number of scanner communication protocols. That's basically the language the scanner speaks when it talks to our SDK or your application. In this case, it's the language the scanner speaks directly to the core scanner, who then does the interpretation to go to the OPOS driver, which then goes to your POS application. So we support a number of cable to USB protocols shown here, RS-232 protocols, and even Bluetooth Classic in the Windows space. Linux has a number of USB protocols. Our SDKs support a number of operating systems. The Windows SDK supports Windows 10, 8, and POS Ready 7. Our Linux SDK supports a number of distributions, too many to go through individually. But what's nice about the Linux SDK is we understand that the Linux operating system world changes quite frequently, so we're constantly adding new distributions to the supported distribution list. Thanks for watching this video, and if you'd like some more information, visit the URL shown on this page.